Oh, rocks. <laughs> Well, after messing around with this guy for about 20 minutes, we got a master angler, <laughs> master angler greenback to show master off. Master angler fish finger. Yeah, right. <laughs> That'll feed a cat maybe. Uh, back she goes. <sighs> I've seen a couple now. Yeah. Oh, not what we're looking for, but you gotta take the steps to get there. Oh, there's good marks, man. The bottom's like solid right now. There's something big down there. Wow, if that fish hits my live yeah. Yep, it's biting. Is it? It just moved, yeah. We got three on the ice right here at the same size. <laughs> <laughs> All cookie cutter, exact yeah. same size. Okay. Better soccer. Oh, come on. Well, after a triple header, we got another one. First drop down the hole. Oh, yeah, good release. Go on. Look how hard he hit that old rattle baits in his mouth. Put it in this hole, okay? What do you want me to oh, do? Oh, you got the pike gear up. Well, good morning. It's another nice day up in the wild north of Netley, I tell you. Today we are out again on Big Windy. We uh, we got Big Mitch here, and yesterday I'll show you some clips now of yesterday. I came out by myself doing a little bit of scouting, a little run and gunning, and it was absolutely the most gorgeous day that you can ever forecast. It was just awesome out here. Today we came out it was a different story. We actually drove on at Warner Road and we were actually considering, well, should we or shouldn't we? But well, we did. No running and gunning today, I tell you, because it is windy. I mean, obviously, you can see we got the tent, <laughs> we got the old Eskimo 
fatfish uh, tied to the old double deuce outside here and uh, otherwise we'd be just collapsing every wall here so so what happened on the way out here is uh, while we were driving looking at our mapping looking for a spot because we knew we wouldn't be moving around and by the way Mitch already has a nice uh, keeper outside on the, on the ground I'll give you a shot of it which I didn't get on video but I'll show it to you there she is there beauty while we were uh, driving around, we seen this bag. It looked like a garbage bag or something, but it ended up, anyways, it ended up being a, a knapsack. And inside was a bunch of woman's stuff and a wallet. So we knew it had fallen off someone's thing. And which used uh, modern technology, Facebook, friended the people. We got their name, obviously, from the wallet. And uh, they're on their way here. They're out here somewhere. They're from Bemidji, Minnesota. And they're on their way to claim back their valuables so that's a really good thing it's a really good feeling to do something nice for a change instead of the dirty rotten shit we do every other day <laughs> <laughs> we're running uh, dead stick minnow in a jig which I caught all my fish on yesterday I got a frostbite tantrum here that I'm rattling a bit and uh, Mitch has got a dead stick you know dead stick in a minnow which he caught his on today yeah and you got a flutter spoon there? Yeah, I got a wingding. Spoon. A wingding, okay. A wingding from Element Customs. He actually makes oh, baits really? here. Oh, really? Let's have a look at that. He makes baits here in uh, in Winnipeg. He's local to us. I makes think, really I think nice. everybody subscribed to my channel knows who Element is. Probably. <laughs> but uh, yeah, All Element right. Customs. He makes oh, wow. lots of. Uh, Where did you buy that? This one I got at Lake of the Woods, actually. And you got these little. little. It's got little wings on the side. Whoa, Tom Bowling would like that. Yeah, it's a good spoon. But <laughs> I went back. I was looking for your phone number. So that's what for you. Yeah. And then he decided to, hey, Facebook. Go to Facebook. You sure? Yeah. All right. Well, thank you by subscribing to the YouTube channel. Watch, watch it for some tips for today. I'll let you hear more. Uh, Monday? Okay. Well, enjoy your stay and welcome. Yeah, thank you. Welcome to Big Windy. So the guy gave us a tip of 20 bucks. Yep, nice guy. We, got, we only caught, we just got that kind of green back today. Oh, it's counterfeit. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll put that towards the live scope fund. Yep, saving up. Hey guys, another nice day up here in the wild north of Italy today, I tell you, today. It's my first venture on to Lake Winnipeg, Big Windy. Conditions are absolutely gorgeous. I was out here scouting yesterday, there's about 12, 15 inches of ice. So it's safe, there's tons of trucks up here. You are limited. I'll show you later about uh, how far you can get out to the deeper water, but I found a spot, uh, an old waypoint on my uh, Navionics chip. It's about 10 feet here and about three, four feet, five feet are all around. So we're gonna give it a try. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna do the uh, something a little bit different today. Uh, the conditions are so good for traveling. I'm gonna do some running and gunning. I brought the tent just in case. If we find it, find a spot that we can camp out. But uh, for the most part, I think I'll be doing some running and gunning. Weather's gorgeous, beauty day, let's go. All right, we got about seven feet here. We'll give it a whirl. I'm not marking anything, but we'll put on a rattler and see what happens. All right, it's a beauty day. We'll give this spot a little bit. I'm not gonna stay here too long. Like I say, we're gonna do some running and gunning today. I know a couple snow bears just went that away. And I know they're in cahoots with all of the uh, outfitters of that on where it's good, where it's hot, so I'm going to give this spot a little bit. 
If I catch something, I'll turn the camera on. If not, we'll see you at spot number two. All right. Spot number two. I'm jonesing a snow bear that's about, oh, maybe 300 yards away. Lots of other trucks here. We'll try here. I am in, looks like eight feet of water, which I'm surprised. Probably a lot shallower here. I know for a fact it's a sand bottom here. Just from being here in the summertime. We'll give it a whirl. I'm a little out of my comfort zone today, which is a good thing. One, I'm by myself. Two, I generally like to be the guy that looks at the map, finds an interesting piece of structure, drill some holes, set up camp, and wait for the fish to funnel through. But today, such a beautiful day, I'm going to run and gun. I haven't run and gun for many years. Last time I did it was probably with the expert guide. Out here. Alright, we'll see what happens here. We're going to give this a good, honest effort here for sure. This seems like a... Well, judging by all the people around, it seems good. We'll see. Oh, Snow Bear's got one, so... <laughs> Definitely getting some marks. Oh, I've got a bite here. Come on. Damn. Okay, I had a bite there. I gotta check my minnow. That's good. Still there. Well, we got definite marks here. I haven't been able to get one yet, but I've had a good three or four opportunities. Good marks. That's good. That's promising. I hope. trick I learned from you know who. There's a big pile of fish guts here. Yeah. Ooh. I'd say that's worth trying, eh? Yep. All right, we're set up again, same routine. Jigging a minnow, dinner bell with a minnow head. I'll start moving that around soon. I gotta tell you, every time I've moved, I've moved about three or four times, oh, four, just the fourth spot. And so far, every time I've punched the holes, cleaned them, set the deucer in, put the rods in, I would caught one right away. I haven't filmed them all, but, because it's, it's so difficult to self-film when you're by yourself, you got no one else. So now I'm just set to spot my fourth spot here. I haven't had a mark since I caught that last fish. So far I've caught all of the fish today on just this little little jig with a minnow. The truck, I really love this truck fishing. It's so awesome. Like um, everything's right here at the door. It's so beautiful out today, the sun's shining. I haven't caught as many fish as I'd like to, but hey, I'm out here. Like I say, there's 
easily 12, 15 feet of our 12, 15 inches of ice. I did see a guy catch a big master on my last stop. That's only about, I don't know, maybe a thousand yards away. All right, guys, I want to introduce this product to you. I got it as a Christmas gift from my daughter, Pony. It's made from a company called Three Ideas, and this is called Riptide, and what it is is a hand scrub, and it's designed to remove the fish odor from your hands. More importantly, the minnows. You know what's all like, uh, what it's like driving home with all those minnows on your, on your fingers all the way till you get home? <laughs> oh, well. Anyways, I just tried it out. It works, it smells delicious. Anyways, check out their website. They have a website, look for, uh, search three ideas. It's a Manitoba company, and it's just a father and two sons. So I think they're based out of Enola. Anyways, check it out. I like it. It works. It's very cool. It's going to be really good in the summertime. But uh, I just washed my hands in, uh, in the ice hole. Kind of cold, but it works. Anyway. I'm not sure if the camera picked up that, but that is one wicked sound. I stopped to take a leak and I heard it. I'm not sure. Someone who lives by this lake could maybe tell me. It wasn't a gunfire. It was like ice, making ice, cracking. I don't know what it was, but it was really cool. Hope you heard it. We'll see. Okay, we're almost off uh, Big Windy. We're at the parking lot here on Warner Roads. Really good accessibility, folks. Oh, there that is again. Wow, that is so wild. Anyways, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching Wild North and Nettley.